Welcome once again to our St. Andrew alumni series of interviews with old girls. And with us today is Dr. Christine Walters, who is a lecturer at the University of the West Indies in epidemiology and statistics. Welcome, Christine. Thank you. Thank Lovely you. to have you. Thank you for having me. Yes, and we're going to reminisce all about school <laughs> at St. Andrew, your days here. Sure, as much who as was I can a, remember. <laughs> who was the principal at the time? Um, started off with Miss Rita. Yes. And um, around, was it fourth form, I believe, um, we had a change to Miss Rico. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when do you remember your first day at school? What, what, what brought you to St. Andrew? Well, uh, my sister. Um, Andrew Walters, she, she was at Andrews, um, or passed in actually cross, but she left in June of 1985, I started in September of the same year, and um, I remember from early on, I don't know if it's the first day, um, but certainly um, within the first week or so of school, um, the, everybody as I walked past, that they, they said, are you Andrew's sister? Because the resemblance was so, you know, so clear, so. Um, I think that was what I first remembered at, at, at Andrews. And um, coming in as a wingy thing, I was very skinny. <laughs> and so, of course, you know, the fears of coming into high school and so on. But I think I quickly settled in and made friends and so on. Mm -hmm. How about your teachers? Can you remember any special ones in those early days? In the and early as you progress? Days, in the early days, um, well, uh, I remember our form was somewhere upstairs, the staff room, I think. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, I, I remember Spanish being one of my notes in the, in the early days. Wow. It, didn't, <laughs> it didn't retain that long right. so much, but it actually, I was very fascinated about um, languages and so on. Um, I, I remember doing music. I was always, well, I did music from when I was five years old. I started independent music when I was five playing the piano and singing and all of that. So that was always of interest to me. Uh, we did have an interesting music teacher. I, mean, <laughs> I remember her. Yeah. Um, I think her name was Miss Smith. We started, no, I don't think she was our first music teacher, but she came on like, you know, with the second year or so. And so she, uh, I know students um, had interesting stories about Miss Smith. And we just leave it at that. Right. <laughs> did you ever play for prayers? I did, you know, I did, um, not so much in the early years, I think more so around third, fourth form, I started playing for, for, for prayers. prayers, yeah. 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 So, what were the, your key subjects, what subjects you loved? You said you started with Spanish, as yeah. you got older. Um, math certainly emerged as right. one of my key subjects, yes. um, I, I think it meant math and accounting. Um, so any figures, any quantitative subjects, wow. I think I started to gravitating towards that. Mm -hmm. um, science was not necessarily my strong point, but but um, I did okay in science. Uh, I didn't mind English, but I certainly would say the quantitative subjects, mm -hmm. any, anything that had figures. Right. Yeah. And who were those teachers you even remember? Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Um, <laughs> Gosh, uh, but I believe there was one teacher in sixth form who really mm -hmm. influenced you to get into. Um, Absolutely, in the, right in the latter years. I was trying to remember the early years, right. but in the latter years, certainly like Sam McDaniel was one. Um, Miss Rita herself right. taught us. Yeah. She taught um, statistics, did she? She did not. Well, math in in those days, when you, when you do that at the high school level, you basically do general math. Right. And so you do um, a bit of algebra, you do geometry, you do statistics. So it's not separated as a statistics oh, course right, per right, se. Right, right. So, yeah. um, but Miss Rita was, was certainly one of those. Mm -hmm. And ones. tell us a little bit about life in general at St. Andrew. Did you get involved in extracurricular activities? Played a lot of sport? What, tell, us, tell us what oh. sort of. Sports, okay. <laughs> that actually has a little history. Um, I started off, I, again, let me just remind you that I, I, I came in as a whingy thing. I was really, really skinny. I'm marble, which is what we say And um, I remember trying hockey. I don't know why. I, I, maybe a friend was doing hockey and I said, let me try hockey. And I think uh, the first week of practice or just orientation to the sport, um, I saw somebody being hit by the hockey stick and they were writhing in pain and I said, no, this is not for me. 
<laughs> this is not my sport at all. Because I just thought of my little bones and I just couldn't, I couldn't see them being broken up. Um, I tried badminton for a little bit. Uh, that lasted for about a year and again I think that was the influence of another friend. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I quickly realized that sports really wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I liked watching sports. I would go to, um, okay, I might be lying if I say I went to girls' jams. I actually went to boys' jams. Oh, <laughs> Everybody <laughs> went to boys' jams. So I went to boys' jams. Yeah. And so I, I liked watching sports, but I quickly realized that my passion was more so in the performing arts. Oh, right. And so with the background in piano, playing the piano and singing in mm -hmm. church and so on, I just kept that going. Yeah. And so um, I actually had an early start to theatre and, and television. So how, did you, how did you do that? I have a, 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 a neighbor who I grew up with, grew up with from birth. And she had an aunt who was at the, the Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, JBC at the time, now TVG. Okay. And um, she was a production manager, I'm not quite sure of her, mm -hmm. her title. And she got us involved with several things, um, vibrations being one of them. Okay. And um, I became the brunt of some jokes. <laughs> you can think about vibrations and all the, you know, things Politics, that follow, right? right? Right. So I actually was involved in that television program. It was a children's television program. And I was in that from maybe about first to fourth form oh, while right. I was here. Mm -hmm. And also involved with um, Miss Lewin, Miss Olive Lewin's oh, right. Young People's um, Singing Program. I mean, right. we, we, we met every Saturday morning. Um, so we, we actually performed with, with the Jamaica Folk Singers. Wonderful. Um, so we went to the little theater. Mm -hmm. we, whenever little, the, the Folk Singers were on stage, we would um, be ushering. So we didn't just, we weren't right. only on stage, but we were, we learning. were learning art, le learning the whole theater, theater business yes. and everything. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. And um, so I found myself doing a lot. And, I, and at the same time, I was learning to play the piano. I went up to grade seven. Oh, good. And um, we played in church mm -hmm. and singing church. And so I did a lot outside of, of, of St. Um, Andrew. Yes. Um, here, my involvement would more so have been playing for, for devotions, as you had indicated mm -hmm. before. And um, I try to remember if I was in the choir. I don't think I was in the choir. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I don't think I was in the yeah, choir here. Yeah. But I think I was just so busy doing so many other things mm -hmm. outside of, mm -hmm. of school that um, it was difficult to find time to do things here. Right. Um, I did get involved in the Sixth Form Association. Oh, good. Um, so you so were meeting up with the JC boys and all that. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. I wanted to ask you about Garcha or Cup and some of these other things. Did you ever get involved in that? You Garcha or Cup at school where they do craft and cakes and that oh, sort of thing. Do you okay. remember that at all? You know, actually, as you mentioned that, I, I, I remember a tiny dye thing that I did. I don't think it was for... I don't think it was for the competition, yeah. but I actually liked that. That was yeah. one of the things that I liked with the... So you did that in yeah, art I department. was actually in Stockholm. I was in Stockholm. Right. <laughs> yes. So, so you, would have, you would have been doing your... If you got involved in the competition, it would have been for, for Stockholm. Right. Yeah. But, I, I, you know, as I and said... And what color was Stockholm, by the way? Orange. Orange, yes, right. Yes. yes. But we just had sports day recently at St. Andrew, last Friday. Okay. So all the... House colors were out in full. Mm -hmm. I do remember the colors actually. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else. So, friends, mm -hmm. do you still have any friends from St. Andrew? Absolutely. Tell us about <laughs> some, of the, some of those friendships because uh -huh. for some of us who went before you, right. we treasure those friends right you know, throughout our entire lives. Even if we, there's been a break at some point, you come back again. Well, I'm glad what you have mentioned you found? that. I'm glad you mentioned that because there have been several breaks for different reasons. Um, I went away to study, and you know, during that time, sometimes you lose, you lose the connection, you lose the, um, you know, you're not keeping in touch as, as often. Um, but certainly, it, it's an undying friendship I found so far that even where distance intervenes, even where time intervenes and you haven't 
same persons for a while, you meet back and it's like it was like you met yesterday, like you, yeah. the last time you met was yesterday. And so I think you know that's that's one of the um, certainly one of the good things that happen, you know, coming from 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 Andrews. And then once you see an Andrews girl, even if you weren't friends with her and you recognize her, you're like Andrews, yeah, man, and then you strike up a conversation. Great. So, so yes. we're going to take a little.